Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to now do the fire signs. And uh, I don't know why, but Spirit wanted me to shuffle on camera. And I have had some people say they prefer when I shuffle on camera. So I'm doing it, but I'm here to tell you it takes about five to seven minutes to get the messages on the table. So if you are one of those people that like to get down to the nitty gritty, go ahead and fast forward. It won't hurt my feelings a bit for you to just go on down to the first place where you see me lift a card up. Okay. And for those of you who like to see what pops out, then hang on because here we go, right? Two more shuffles. All right, so I'm going to get you five oracle cards. There it goes. For fire sign spirit, I've already prayed and meditated on the cards. And I, I will burn a little bit of this because I've been burning this in each video. So we are here for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Mm, smells good. I am going to be in Kent, Ohio this weekend. My energy has been kind of tired. So uh, I don't want to link it below because then I got to change everything. But if you go to my Facebook it's Tracy with an I-E, Redden Frick, R-E-D-D-E-N hyphen F-R-I-C-K. Then you will get my Facebook page and I put it on my wall. And you don't have to be a friend to see it, I don't think. If you do, go ahead and, uh, well, you can follow me. I think you can follow without being a friend talking too much, right? New or full moon in Taurus. So this, you know, we just went through this whole 1111 gateway and now we're dealing with Taurian energy. And if you know anything about Taurian energy, it's all about, are you kidding? This is the same exact card that the air signs just got. <laughs> Pretty profound, huh? To have that many cards and have the same card come out. Anyhow, we'll get to that. So some of you guys are light workers, just so you know. Whether you know it or not, uh, with the rainbow DNA card, that's all about light workers receiving the rainbow DNA, the downloads, right? Star seeds. If you don't resonate with that energy, then just leave it. It's okay. Um, I have a lot of people that watch, and I do have a lot of star seeds um, and twin flames, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine that watch my channel. So if that resonates with you, take it and run with it. And if it doesn't, it's okay. It doesn't have to. Let's get you an angel card. I'm going to do three cards for the energy that you've been in. And uh, then three cards for the energy that you'll be entering into and, and you know, kind of clarifying where you're headed, quite frankly. Where you been and where are you going? All right, Spirit, please attune the deck to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the full moon in Taurus. This is, you know, Taurian energy is about pampering yourself. You know, go get that massage or, you know, buy your favorite perfume. Or if you're a gentleman, go go buy your next favorite tool. Or um, if you collect memorabilia or whatever your hobbies are, it's a time of kind of... Um, being in the material realm in a way 
you know, cook your favorite meal or go out and have somebody else cook your favorite meal. Get a new hairdo, you know, have a makeover, whatever. Whatever you do to recharge and replenish your batteries because we've been doing a lot of spiritual work, right? And uh, I think spirit is using this full moon in Taurus to help us to reflect on where we've been and where we're going. It's a time to tweak your manifestations, right? It's a time to take a look at what you've been trying to manifest and how is it showing up, if it's showing up, and do you need to make any adjustments? And quite frankly, I've been getting the message from Spirit that it's kind of the time to enjoy what you have for the moment while it's almost like the cosmic egg, right? What we are trying to manifest is still in incubation. And during that time, I think this Taurus moon is all about you know, enjoying the mundane, enjoying the the day to day, you know, whatever it is that makes you happy that you spoil yourself with. Now, you don't want to go to excess, you know, if you like a glass of wine, don't go buy the box of wine, right? And if you enjoy a cigar, don't sit and smoke 50 cigars. If you like to have a piece of chocolate cake, don't sit down and eat the entire cake, you know, because Taurus energy is kind of like that. It's really overindulgent. And, and it can be stubborn too, you know, Taurus is the sign of the bull. So if there's some area in your life where you have been unwilling to compromise, ooh, too many spirit, too many. I'm going to put those back because there's like 15 cards there. We're going to try again. Three card spirit for the current energies for my fire signs. What is on the horizon during the full moon and Taurus energies for the fire signs? Ooh, there's two. One, two. And last card, just one card, please, spirit. One card, please. I told you it's about eight minutes in before I get to the reading. Wow. All right. Well, I can see what you guys have been working on. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So we have the energy that you've been in or, or been dealing with. Here is the five of wands. Now in this deck, this is a guy, you know, it almost has the energy of the six of swords. But the energy I'm getting off of this is inner conflict, wanting to go home. For some of you guys, I don't know why that, that just came out. So somebody watching is, is missing home, wanting to go home. That's just for one of you, maybe two. But I feel like this person wants a win. They want to just put all of their lessons into their boat and, and go someplace with less conflict. Okay? Heavy energy, quite frankly. Then we have, you have two fives. Fives are all about change. And you've got some, some heavy hitters here. Um, so I see change. I, I see change. I have three fives. We'll take a look at that here in a moment. Okay, well, this is, the five of pentacles is all about feeling lonely abandoned. Sometimes it's money. It's feeling like you don't have enough. You're, you're in lack mentality. And I'm here to tell you, I never knew this. I just have been learning this. When your self-esteem is low, when your self-worth, your self-value is low, it affects your wallet big time because as within, so without. I never knew that. 
or believe me, I would have like tried to change it much earlier in my life because I've always, I'm a powerful conscious manifester. I mean, when I really, really want something, I'm pretty good at getting it. Um, but the problem was, you know, I went through some tough times where I didn't feel good about myself. I, I wasn't happy with where I was in my life. And so, and I, I surrounded myself with people that didn't know my value. People, you know, that would take and take and take from me, but they never really gave back. So all of those scenarios, because this is, you know, a general reading for the general populace. So there's going to be some of you that resonate with, with a person that has shunned you or ghosted you or left you out in the cold. Some of you are going to resonate with finances, you know, where you're, you're, it's like you're kind of stuck in, in the in-between, you know, you're, it's like living from paycheck to paycheck. You've got enough money to cover your expenses, or maybe you're even a little shy sometimes, but you're just, you're not where you want to be financially or spiritually, quite frankly. For some of you, this is a spiritual thing. And for some of you, it's a physical thing because we have financial constraints. Okay. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard and found that it was bare. And if you see in this card, I don't know if you can see. There's cobwebs. There's a few coins and a book. I'm hearing, I know this is very specific, so it's probably only for one person watching, but you need to be very careful about your bookkeeping or, or you need to check your bookkeeping and make sure that somebody's not taking from you is what I'm hearing. That's only, swear to God, probably one of you. Uh, but when I saw the book in the cupboard, I, I literally saw a, a ledger where you got your, your income and your outgoing finances. And I feel like somebody watching needs to go check that and make sure that the books balance and that there isn't some, you know, low vibrational stuff going on. All right. But for the rest of you, it's like, this has been a spiritual journey because the next card out that we have is the strength card. So the energy that you've been in is in the, this energy of change. And, and you're trying to, you're working on self mastery is what I'm hearing. Um, spirit has been guiding you on a spiritual journey for some of you into self mastery. It's taming the inner beast. It's learning about raising your vibration and becoming a spirit having a human experience, which is the way that we were designed to be, instead of being a human thinking that we're going to, you know, just one day pick up and be spiritual. <laughs> so, you know, there's change, there's strife, there's inner conflict, there's self-worth issues, there's financial if issues, and you've been trying to gain your strength. Trying to, to ground your new DNA codes, right, into this new 5D reality, which is Aquarius season. And I don't know why, because you guys are, are fire signs, but I'm feeling like somebody has some heavy air in their chart. And they're going to advise you because next you have the Hierophant, or I'm sorry, the Hermit and the High Priestess. So for some of you, this is like angelic. It's it's like uh, Archangel Michael showing up as the King of Swords. And you're going to be, get, if you ask, because with the angelic realm, you have to ask.
you have to ask for help and you have to be willing to go within as the hermit and do some real soul searching. And then you also have to be willing to trust your intuition to become the high priestess, to know, just to know, to, to trust your inner knowing. So for those of you that have been on this ascension path and you know you have, um, you're getting communication and help. Because here we have communication, which is a five, by the way. And we have education. But I'm noticing this little... Uh, I guess it's a fairy sprite. But it's spirit. It's spirit. So you're learning. There's something you're learning through these DNA downloads that you're getting. The communication from spirit about self-mastery and knowing your worth and taming the inner beast, right? Learning how to resolve inner conflict. And this is the communication right here. Okay. King of Swords is all about communication. This is, if this is not literally the angelic realm, this is a person. It could be a counselor. It could be a lawyer. Um, it could be an accountant. It could be any person who has a higher education communicating, communicating. how to make the changes you need to to have the courage to go within and to trust your intuition. Why? Because it's time to take action. And I think the financial constraints goes along with your ability to recognize your value. Because on this journey, whether it's been with a soulmate, whether it's happened at your workplace, or if it's just a spiritual journey, right? Because a lot of us are on that ascension spiritual journey. This is all about embracing change, learning how to take the new DNA codes to anchor them into the 5D uh, reality or the 3D reality with 5D consciousness on bravery and self mastery. And when you do that, then spirit will remove the blinders from your eyes because you've got your hand on the pentacles. You're not truly, and this woman is not out in the cold, okay? She's in the gate, and she's got her hand on the gate, but she's blind. She doesn't know where to go. She doesn't know how to get there. So I think that Spirit's trying to lead you away from poverty consciousness, and you're you're being educated, <laughs> taught. I wish I could hold all these cards up at once, right? Look at all the major arcanas. You got the strength card. You could be dealing with the Leo, could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Virgo or an air sign. I don't know. I don't usually read that way. I know for some of you that'll be an extra, you know, confirmation. But I'm just seeing spirit really, really, really trying to communicate with you. And through spiritual means, through signs and synchronicities. And uh, the Taurus moon is all about knowing your worth. Taurus people love to spoil themselves. They like you know, 
they like they like richness they like rich foods they like um really adventurous energy they it, you know i don't know how to explain it i i raised two taurus boys they're they're kind and loving and giving but they're also stubborn as a bull and they really really like opulence you know they like the 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 name brand nike under armor shoes and you know it's like the coat that that says under armor on it has so much more value to them just because of the name right so taurian energy is a little bit about about wanting more for yourself, wanting to be in a lap of luxury, wanting to be able to spoil yourself and the people that you love, to have a little bit of opulence in your life. And I think that on the spiritual journey, what we're learning is once we recognize what our value is, what our self-worth is, and start knowing, you know, self-mastery, getting the, the devil thoughts out of our mind and, and really anchoring in our new DNA codes with the new education and communication from spirit and becoming the high priestess after going through the hermit phase, we come out, you know, as, as the spiritual being that just gets it with a higher knowing, trusting. And you know what? The high priestess she creates miracles. So I believe that spirit is trying to get you to take action at self-mastery and spiritual enlightenment. And don't be afraid to ask the angels for help. And if this is not spiritual for you, if this is literally, because as within, so without, right? If this is showing up in your finances, if you're just really struggling and you're trying to, to get rid of your inner conflict about finances and getting strength, you're really going to have to upgrade your programming. Okay. You're going to have to get out of lack mentality and you're going to have to start uh embracing the rainbow dna codes that that exist now in this realm that you can tap into through your spirituality and strength and asking for help okay all right that has been that and i want to get you some parting advice from postcards from spirit we have dearest you over there, over here, there is no mystery for us to unravel as we intim as we intimately know how connected we all are, how the web of creation works and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible as within, so without, as above, so below. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension that you live in. Thank God. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart trust your intuition and soul trust that even though you don't know the how the what or the why as we do surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysteries in beautiful tapestry and glorious technicolor Loving you so much as always. You know what I'm hearing from that is you need to trust spirit. Trust that the path you are on is taking you where it's supposed to take you. Trust the downloads, the information that comes in seemingly out of nowhere, like aha, epiphic moments. Because you have to know your value. And when you know your value then everything, everything comes to you because spirit's like, oh yeah, 
She deserves it. I'm going to give her what she deserves because she knows she deserves it. And it's time to take action. I feel like you've been going through this whole self-mastery evolution of your soul. And some of you are light workers, rainbow children, rainbow DNA. So trust the communication that spirit's bringing to you. Education is all about spiritual knowing and learning. And, you know, Financial Constraints has this book in here, okay? For most of you, this book is the education. It's spirit teaching you that if you know what your value is, it will magically show up in your reality. Okay, I love you guys. I know the energies have been really thick lately. and uh, But I believe, I truly believe, that we are all on this ascension path and and we are learning so much and uh just hang in there don't forget to pray and meditate don't forget to cook yourself your favorite meal get your nails done get your hair done if you're a gentleman go out there and um do what guys do you know whatever is your happy place you know some people some guys like to hunt fish um whatever right? Some guys like to go get their hair done, maybe even their nails done. So you do you and do it fabulously because it is Torian season. And that's what this full moon is all about, is about knowing your value, knowing your worth, doing something nice for yourself and trusting that spirit's got your back and you are exactly where you are meant to be doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. And some some really good stuff's coming towards you and you're going to be able to take action on it because of all the inner work that you've done. Okay? I love you and I will see you on the new moon which is on the 26th of November. Okay? Uh don't forget to come back and and well make sure you hit the wiggly bell because then you will know every time that I upload and I will be uploading some pickup pile. I'm not doing the daily love vibe anymore because uh, most of the people in my channel, most of my viewers are identifying with the Ascension journey and the twin flame soulmate journey. So the daily vibe, love vibe was really just more, it, it was just more of the same every day because the journey that we are on is not going to happen in a day and the energies don't necessarily change every day it takes time to ascend your soul into the higher realms that you have been denying yourself for a very long time so come back and check back. I'm going to do pick a pile readings. I love those because I can pick topics that I like, that you like. Put in the uh, comments below if there's any pick a pile readings you'd like to see or, or have done. And give me some ideas to get the juices flowing. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my other channel because I will be doing more content over there that is different than here. Okay? I love you. Namaste.